What's going on, everybody? Guess what? They got one. One of the scammers got hit. They got it involved into a police sting from other collectors. I'll let this play out and we'll hit into it. All right. Red light, horn buzzer things going now. All right. So basically the story is a guy did a trade with somebody. I guess it was vouched and all that stuff. And he never received his end of package, so guy put out, you know, police report and all that stuff onto stolen item from, you know, whatever person, all this stuff. And usually the cops drop it. So another person in a Facebook group ends up getting, let me read what he says here, got a random phone call yesterday from a guy wanting to sell a very nice Joe Burrow card. Talked to him for a few minutes, told him to send me some pics, which they did. Well, he ended up posting it in his group. Lo and behold, the person he scammed was part of his group. So they, he ended up uh, getting all the stuff on to it to make sure everything matched up. So he calls the guy back and says, gives him an offer, $1,000 more than his highest offer, saying he has to have this card, da 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 and all that. The scammer then drove from Chicago to Cincinnati to meet him. Now get this, he didn't know this, but he ended up having uh, either his wife and mom in the car with him, and I believe there might have been kids in the back. Now this is not in a video to where you can see the family at all, so don't worry when you see it. The video itself, I'm going to cut like probably like 5-10 seconds at the beginning of the video just to show you guys the cop cars and the sting operation involved. And then, like, the last 20, 25 seconds to where the cops come up to confirm the card. Because everything else in the middle, I sat there and was watching the video. I'm like, is something going to happen? How do we know this is actually, like, what's going on? And it was enough for me. And, I mean, it's awesome that people in this hobby have come together and nailed somebody. And this guy here's name was Brian Gilmore. That was a scammer. And he's been doing this for a while. The cops did not arrest him. I'm going to tell you now, they did not arrest him, but they are issuing a warrant for him. And I don't know if it's due to because it was in a different state or whatever it may have been. Um, I don't know all that stuff because the guy's from Chicago and he got busted in Cincinnati with it. It might be to a degree for the amount of the card has to be handled back in his area. But the guy's going to get hit. He's going to get hit. And if his family didn't know he was doing it, oh, boy. I mean... That, that's a shame because if his wife and kids drove in the car with him eight, eight, eight hours to do this deal, it was something about he needed the money for a wedding or something. Some big story where he was hitting a lot of people up on it. But they, it, I'll show you the video here in one second. I'm just making sure I caught everything. Um, I guess the, there were three cop cars that surround his vehicle in the parking lot. They confiscated the stolen borough car and let them know they'll be issuing a warrant out for him very soon. The guy has scammed people worth probably hundreds of thousands of dollars over time. But somebody finally stood up, and that's what I'm talking about in this hobby, standing up, getting what needs to be done to these guys who are doing this. And it, it's just amazing. So let me go ahead and cut real quick to the video, and I'll be right back. It's probably going to be like 30 seconds max, everybody. But just to show you that it did happen, and you can see the cops come up, and then they end up cut the footage. I don't know if the cops made them or what. I know Ohio is like a one-party law for videotaping, so I'm not too sure of the whole situation, but kind of good news story, kind of good news story. But I'll be right back. Video coming now. Are you thinking? No, I don't think so. Hello. Yes, sir. What is the officer's name again? All right, guys. So, like I said, it was a quick video just to show you guys uh, exactly that it did happen. Um, there's a little bit more to the story. This was the card here that was taken. One, the reason why you're probably, well, what borrow card was, it's the clear from contenders and they are sealed them. I believe it's out of 10. It's I'm pretty sure it's out of 10 these at the same time frame. You got the Beckett number. It's up there as well too. It's how they were able to prove that that card was it. There was already a police report in 
And with that happening, they took the card. And, you know, now you got legal matters happening. And the guy whose card it originally was put into these comments that he's so happy the card is in route back to him now. So by spreading news out there and, you know, doing the right thing, we can get these guys. You really can. These guys are going to think twice now about doing stuff like this. And, you know, this could have been easily moved to the national to where, you know, somebody might not have known. They've been like, well, I just bought this card. It's sitting in a display case. Then they're out that money, too. Just so many thoughts gone through my head throughout this day when I was told about this happening. And I, I'm just really happy the community came together to do this. Well, actually, one person out of the community came and did this all on his own. But, you know, he had enough to post about the card. Somebody said, that's mine, showed him all the stuff to it. And they went out and they set this up perfectly. They'd nail this dude and be like, hey, you ain't scamming no more. You, you're going to get what's coming to you. So he lost the card. You know, the cops had to report. And now it's going to go back to his hometown. So I'm just saying, if you guys ever been scammed by this dude, Brian Gilmore, um, hit me up on email. I'll link you to the group and who you need to talk to because maybe y'all could get a bigger, huge case and the guy gets put away for a very long time. I mean, craziness. Craziness, but good craziness in a way that somebody actually took it to this realm. You know, there's so many people out there like, oh, I'm just going to go to this dude's house and beat him up and everything else. You, I mean, I got it that you want to do that, but you don't know the other person on their side of the door. What if he has a gun and shoots you over a card? You know, if we have to sit there and do stuff like this to get the police involved and to make phone calls because it's in our local area and we know the cops out here, like, hey, check this out. I need your assistance. And you give them all the facts. This is when it's going down. Hey, let's get them. Let's get them all. So I figured I'd share this with everybody because we do have a lot of gloom on trim cards, fake cards, and all this stuff going on. Somebody actually took the matter partly in their own hands, got the cops involved, and now we got an owner back, a pretty big card. I'm guessing this probably goes for around 7000 I don't know, maybe more or less, I, I, without even thinking off the top of my head. But he's getting his card back, and the person that pulled the scam off, yep. He's going to fill the raft now the law down the road here. And I'm hoping we get to hear exactly what happens to out of it. And I'm sure the guy who has the police uh, case and everything is probably going to keep that group informed. So I'm going to stick around in the group as well just to see if anything else comes out of it. But appreciate everybody watching the video. There is hope out there that these guys are going to get busted. But we got to, you know, keep it within the law. But we also need to help everybody out and police it up, too. All right. See y'all next video.